Even the box with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. The Edward Snowman was no beauty. It was all I had left. Fulock yellow. Definitely not my favorite color. Yellow. Definitely not my favorite color. The lighter was more than just a sentimental souvenir. It also started fires. Nothing. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is gonna blow this planet to hell, then it's gonna be us. What a joke. Some punk had sprayed no hope on Blast Tower door. Huh. Tell me something I don't know. The Organon had sealed the door to the Blast Tower. As if to say, if anyone is gonna blow this planet to hell, then it's gonna be us. What a joke. Blowtorch did what blowtorches do best. Now the marshmallows were all gone, like everything else eventually. saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. simultaneously release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Chill ran down my spine when I saw the bomb. Probably just snow in my hood. There it lay in the snow. Broken, 
burnt out and shattered. Elysium. Symbol of hope. <laughs> Talk about kitsch. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. The end of... Frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. Huh? Oh, typical. Even Armageddon is busted over. Just you wait. Uh oh. The thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze true straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. What a nightmare. I was old and had a mustache. All my friends were dead and the Lysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony out. God, talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. I used that to build my rocket harpoon. Er, wait, that was only in my dream, right? Man, this is confusing. Huh, the fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about the clear winter. Don't look, otherwise it'll keep me from working for days. Again. Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I gonna do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. That stuff is just for looks. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. No, I've been practicing the lasso number long enough. The next time I throw out a loop, 
Then it'll be to catch something. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! You can't park here. You. Oh boy. Somehow my vision missed this. Hey, you. Hello. You can't park here. <laughs> Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... Who are you, anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you, at least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. What are you doing there anyway? You don't want to know that, believe me. <laughs> totally. Then stop asking me questions. No contact. It's essential. What do you mean, no contact? I can't answer that either. Oh yeah? Why not? Well, because... <sighs> Are you actually listening to a word I'm saying? Of course! And I think that the black wasn't bad either, honey. What? 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 How? Huh? The blue, after all? What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash, rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh. I thought you wanted to apologize, but your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Puerto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. 
Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? What are you doing there, anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end. In time. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred, but we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... Turn back time. Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound too? Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before our reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Microna Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my... turning this crank here? No! Wait! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickel. McCronical. But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want a repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's come on. Come on. Come on. Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Huh? What? Oh no, not again. Well, did it work? No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? 